Hey guys, welcome to the How to Hack Your Soundbrenner Pulse with Windows tutorial. And today I'll be using the much loved Reaper DAW. So what you'll first want to do is you'll want to decide what tempo you're going to be recording at. Um, today I'll be recording at 127 beats per minute um, with an 8-4 time signature. I've already practiced my little tune that I'll be playing for this tutorial so uh, the more you know what you're going to do beforehand the tighter the performance will be. Let's get into it. The next thing you're going to want to do is pair your devices um, to your Soundbrenner. If you don't already know how to do that then just follow the link in the description and you can check out my full review there with step-by-step -step instructions. I've already set my device to 127 at an 8-4 timing and I've set the intensities the way I like to feel them which is more accentuated on the 4th beat and the 8th beat which just gives you more variation um, and helps you feel the vibration better on your skin. This is the part where we perform the hack. Um, it's not the hack in a sense that it's reverse engineering any software. It's more of a manual override um, method that um, you would need to do in order to, to record um, without your metronome and with a soundbrenner. So the f next thing you want to want to do is to create a click track in your DAW. As you can see, I've already done that over here. I've set it to a 16 bar count in, which will give me enough time to make sure that I'm in sync with the timeline in my DAW. Um, so let's give it a little practice run and see how it works. First thing you'll do is you will want to tap your sound burner twice to activate it. And then you'll hit your space bar and make sure that you are in time which that went perfectly that'll that's a bit tricky at first uh, took me quite a few times to figure out how much time I needed okay and we're back and we're ready to start recording so make sure you've got a track armed for recording in your DAW and you're ready to go and your guitar is in tune ish close enough here we go. Now let's play it back. There you have it guys, that's my Soundbrenner Pulse hack for Windows. Um, I hope you found it helpful in some way. Um, so the main question is, 
did it work and how does the sound brainer pulse compare to a standard metronome well yes i think it worked as you can see from the video um, behind the scenes it was a bit more tricky it took me quite a few days to get used to the device which is pretty much what everybody's going to have to go through um, even the company says so um, it is new technology so it is kind of a bit weird making the shift from what you're used to hearing to feeling it vibrating on your skin um, but that said it does skate pretty close to novelty territory um, but I can definitely see it as a songwriting tool or for novice players uh, just trying to keep in time um, I can't comment about using it in a band scenario but that would be very interesting if you have done so please drop a comment below I'd love to hear that how it's working for you I think it's a useful tool and for gadget junkies like myself um, I think you'd probably want to check it out uh, this has been shopperrocker.com I appreciate you guys watching uh, please like and subscribe head on over to see the full hacking guide and find your gift inside anyway rock on